Post has an East Texas Elections Administrator warning voters that you can't believe everything you see online. As KLTV7's Tyree White tells us, that post advises voters to request blank ballots this election. But county leaders say that is simply misinformation. It's three months until voters head to the polls to cast their vote for the presidential election. And as the day draws closer, Nacogdoches County Elections Administrator Vicki Wood wants to keep voters from getting the wrong info regarding their ballot. Wood says a Facebook post on July 27th asking that voters not accept ballots with any writing on them whatsoever made its way to county election workers, creating confusion for them and voters. If you don't mind, I'm going to read it to you what it says. Um, it's actually a post. It says, a very reliable good friend of mine just finished poll worker training and she texts me this. The post states how they passed all of their poll manager classes and wants to warn voters to request a new ballot if it has a letter, a check mark, a star, an R or D, or any writing of any kind, or it falsely claims your ballot can be disqualified. What says this is just not true. The state actually requires the early voting clerk, who here in Nacogdoches County is myself, the elections administrator, to sign all of the early voting ballots. On election day, precinct judges sign the ballots, meaning your ballot won't ever be completely blank. This is according to Texas Election Code 62.008 and 85.031. If you do get a ballot and it doesn't have a signature, you need to let somebody know because it's not going to count without that signature. Tyree White, KLCV 7 News. This false claim on social media is nothing new. The incorrect claim has been going around since at least 2020. Wood says if you have any questions, you should contact your local elections office.